can you believe your eyes? No, really, can you? I'm Isabel Williams, and believing your eyes is one of the themes in my chapter in Design in Legal Education. I base the chapter on drawing in court, and I start when COVID closes UK courtrooms in March 2020, so there is nothing to see at all. This isn't a real courtroom, it's one of the mock Crown Court hearings which were trialled online by the human rights organisation Justice in response to the pandemic. As you can see on the left of the screen, document sharing visible to everyone is a welcome feature of this experiment, not available in a normal court setting. In my case, it became all about the Laura Ashley curtains. So what is the point of courtroom drawing in normal times? You might think it's to tell the truth. But in the UK, drawing, filming and photography are against the law in nearly every court. Courtroom drawing has to be done from memory, so that's already blurring the truth. Technically, this activity is illegal only if it is with a view to publication, but no court usher will give you the benefit of the doubt. One exception is made for hearings before the Master of the Rolls in Court 71 of the Court of Appeal. These are filmed for YouTube, but you're not allowed to reproduce them. Now, let's go on and take a look at the UK Supreme Court. It is exempt from the law forbidding drawing on site, although you do need the court's permission to sketch there. A more truthful view of the court building is this one, by the way. And uh, one day I saw an official court artist working in the UK Supreme Court. I can't show you the image because of copyright, but it was fascinating to see how the artist changed people's positions to dramatise and clarify the scene. It was certainly not meant to be the equivalent of a photograph. Nor was Laura Knight's 1946 painting The Nuremberg Trial, with her imaginary depiction of the bombing of Nuremberg in the background. She painted this in her studio from sketches she made in the courtroom. But how true to life is photography anyway? On the 4th of November 2016, the Times ran a picture of the Lord Chief Justice, the Master of the Rolls and Lord Justice Sales all standing together. They were notoriously described as enemies of the people on the same day by the Daily Mail after their divisional court ruling that Parliament had a right to vote on triggering Article 50, a requirement of Brexit. But going back to the Times, they are not really standing together. Only one in the middle with a shadow is genuinely there. The others are shadowless cutouts added with software. Now, changing the subject, I'm a regular at Life Class, which is about drawing the naked model. This is a Life Class sketchbook, which I took to court by mistake one day. My worlds collided on two occasions when a nude was in the dock in Winchester Crown Court. The naked rambler, Stephen Goff, is, as his barrister Matthew Scott, also pictured, pointed out a harmless and astonishingly courageous man. I had to draw these pictures from memory as we were in Winchester Crown Court. Now I'm lying to you in this picture because the lower part of the dock is opaque, being made of wood, but I'd already made several sketches of Stephen at a private house, so I cheated for the sake of the drawing. But when I made this drawing from memory, I forgot the naked rambler wore boots, even though I heard them clomping into the dock. Now, an artist doesn't have to swear to tell nothing but the truth. Magritte's painting, La Trahison des Images, The Treachery of Images, says, Ceci n'est pas une pipe, this is not a pipe. Correct. It is a picture of a pipe. The artist intervenes between the subject and you. For example, this is a portrait by Archimboldo, painted around 1590. Your brain is doing a lot of the work here. And following this one, here is a drawing of a jury of bears done by me, which is very true to life. It's hard for you to contradict me because courtroom drawings in the UK are not allowed to show a jury. And finally, please remember Sir John Fielding, who lost his sight in his late teens, went on to be celebrated for his pioneering work as a magistrate. If you have any questions, do please get in touch. Thank you.